I'm very upset about this. Uh, see, I was trying to call the number for movie phone, and out of nowhere, this woman comes on Jake, the line. What? <laughs> That's not the phone bill. Jake, I, you nerdy dog. All right, Daria time. La, 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 la. Quinn the brain. Well, Quinn is smarter than now, she looks as the I'm next. Back your essays, you may have strong feelings about the competitive and discouraging aspects. Is an F plus the same as a D minus? <laughs> I don't believe I've ever heard of an F plus, Jordan. I didn't get my essay back. I'm afraid I'll need to see you after class. That's not good. We need to talk about your performance. Okay, but I'm kind of in a rush today. Let's go <laughs> yes, over our last assignment. How I feel about polyculturalism. You wrote, I definitely prefer all cotton. I didn't copy it if that's what you <laughs> I'm afraid you're not doing well in language arts. Okay, see you tomorrow. I don't think you understand. <laughs> you're going to need an A on your next essay to maintain a passing grade. You mean passing as in passing or failing? Yes. When I was in high school, I wanted more than anything to be on the gymnastics team. So I practiced every day. And, and the you... big tryout came and you made the team. Well, no. I was about to say I doubt it. Right holding a pencil in my teeth. Jake! Uh, I'm up! Where are Jake built in a before, sailboat. I think. I'm very upset about this. Uh, see, I was trying to call the number for movie phone, and out of nowhere, this woman comes on Jake, the line. What? <laughs> That's not the phone bill. I, Jake, you nerdy dog. She's going to fail English because she's not putting in any effort. I'm going up to talk to her. Why can't I ever be the one to talk to the girls? A strong parenting team is like a singing group. That's These you. Michael Jackson and your keto, bro. Do. Mom, can I borrow? Um, I'm just gonna run down to the animal shelter and see about volunteering. <laughs> this note came from school. Don't worry, all I have to do is get like an A on my next essay and I'm fine. I'll take the Vegas odds on that one. Daria, <laughs> we need to be encouraging. When I was in high school, I wanted more than anything to join the swim team, no! but I just... Mom, if you're gonna reminisce, I'm afraid I'll be forced to call social services. Try imagining it this way, Quinn. You could be left back and be the oldest freshman in Lawndale High. That'll do you know it. What? I gotta get to work. Bye. <laughs> That's my girl. I knew it. You see how it's done? Daria, are you in there? No, I'm taking it easy in Tahiti for a few days. I just need a little help with my essay. Like, could you write it for me? And what's my motivation? That's a little day? help. Come on, Daria, we're <laughs> sisters. Believe me, I would do it myself, but I have a date. Oh, that's different. Ten? Twenty. Fifteen. Done. Thanks, Daria. For once, you have something to do on Friday night instead of sitting around like a loser, you know? Jesus. That's it, Shakespeare. Do your own damn homework. You just fucked yourself. <laughs> Is this Quinn's house? Someone by that name does live here. Cool. This guy sucks. I gotta pay more attention when I get these addresses. Corey, I can't see you tonight. I have to write an essay. She got all done up to Come go on. to the door. Got a special <laughs> evening plan. Quinn, what have they done to you? Did you You're just spend off, two Quinn. hours dressing up to go to the door for one minute and dump your date? Daria, That's what I said. If you look your best when you blow a guy off, it makes him feel like you care. <laughs> Sometimes your shallowness is so thorough, it's almost like depth. I hope you realize you're making me do my own homework. That is a scary thought. One of our students has so improved since last week's essay, I'm going to share her work with the class. I really like those leggings. Yeah, uh -oh. but now I have a shoe thing. Um, I didn't get my paper back. That's right, Quinn. Because I'm going to read it aloud. Oh, no. Oh, Academic <laughs> imprisonment. Lock me up with your homework and your tests. The only difference between school and prison is the wardrobe. Hell oh, yeah. <laughs> do you want to take away my outfits, too? That was an essay yeah, of passion. Come on, kiddo. You want to encourage your sister, don't you? To get her own place, yeah. Hey, it's my daughter, the genius! <laughs> when other kids get a good grade, they sometimes get, like, a little present. Now, Quinn, I really I'll think... I'll handle this. You got an A, you should be rewarded. Here you go! Thanks, nice. Dad! You just gave her a 20 for getting one A. What about all the A's I get for free? 
<laughs> it's a motivational thing. But won't that demotivate your other daughter whose work is consistently good? Daria should have a consistent reward for her consistently good work. Hey! What about a higher reward for maintaining a standard of excellence over time? <laughs> Here, just take it. Hell, if I told you I was no good at this parenting crap. <laughs> He's talking about your essay and the Lawndale Lowdown. The school paper? I'm ruined. Academic imprisonment. It's great, isn't it? No light shines Pretty through awesome. these four brick walls, for the school is my prison. <laughs> I'll bet you didn't even know the word imprisoners existed. Quinn's gonna see firsthand what it feels like to be a brain. School runs us around and around until we yearn for the little food pellet. But only more homework <laughs> awaits. You know? It's like she read my mind. Right after you suffered a severe blow Feel to the that. head. What are you doing here? Oh, I'm full of Keep it down, okay? You must be very excited about what people are calling you. What? Brains Morgendorfer. Behold the future. <laughs> <laughs> Last week they were trying out for football, then they won one debate tournament. What am I gonna do? I can't be afraid. My friends will hate me. Maybe I can steal all the newspapers before anyone else reads them. Too hey, late. wait a minute, Brains. Quinn's tutoring me in English so I can stay on the football team. Mr. O'Neill set it up. I speak English too, you know. <laughs> I've got a plan. I'll bet you do. What is you, this plan? You high school Casablanca? I'm gonna like observe the way a brain acts, and then we can act that way and be cool too. You're already a brain in my eyes. <laughs> it's already working, bro. <laughs> Only Quinn could turn being smart into a fad. Mr. O'Neill said I could skip the rest of his class and go to lunch early because I was catching on so fast. Isn't that great? Oh my god. <laughs> Daria, you know I'm a big, big fan of your writing. Lately, it seemed kind of flat. I'm Less than Quinn. Jesse, I was wondering how you'd feel about some one-on-one -on -one tutoring. She should be here in anyway. No what way. Mean? Help somebody. <laughs> Do you two know each other? I should have said I don't how know. How does he not know? Like I'm not letting it get to me. Yeah, I can see that. I wrote another poem while I was eating my fries. The greasy fry, it cannot lie. Its truth is written on your thigh. Hold it, I think I feel a poem coming on. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. False alarm. Yeah, I might do writing for a career. <laughs> Quinn like really is turning being a brain really? into a fan. <laughs> like, did you know they pay money for those poems inside greeting cards? I've been giving my poems away for free. Do me a favor, will you? <laughs> yeah? Close my locker. Over and over again. Did a mime crawl in here and die? This is how deep people dress. Yeah, deeply oh, no. affected people. Thank you. Does this black match? Matches my mood. Quinn's in a new clique now. She's no longer in the Mean Girls clique. She's in the artsy, pretentious clique. Could a renegade surgeon transplant your brain while you sleep? The frightening <laughs> truth next on Six Ad World. I want to hear the frightening you, truth. Been known to do a bit of the old parenting in my time. What's on your mind? Didn't you just fail at it issues. like five Drugs, minutes ago? Peer pressure. Is it a problem with your gang? It's more gang. of a personal issue. Let's say you have an identity you don't even like. But even though you don't like this identity, somebody suddenly comes along and steals it from you. You didn't want this identity, but if they take it away, you've got nothing. You change your name, move to another state, get some ID. It's not too late to start over, Daria! It's not too late! Jake. You're still a young man! You don't have to live with your mistakes! <laughs> Pop the brakes, bro. You know, Dad, talking to you has actually made me feel better about myself. <laughs> That's what I'm here for, kiddo! Yikes. Backup singer. <laughs> Poems don't even have to rhyme. How easy is that? Whoa. Wow. wow. I mean, that's a crazy. Cool. Because... There's a problem, Quinn. We need to talk. Other girls are following your weirdo example and abandoning their fashion statements. Dressing in black is a fashion statement. It's deep and it's slenderizing. She's turning Not everyone emo this, and pretentious. Everyone knows that eggplant is the current neutral. You're officially ordered to take a fashion sabbatical until you get your priorities straight. Just go rogue, Quinn. I'm concerned about Quinn. We need someone close to her to make her see the error of her ways. I think I, I have team a up plan. with Daria. <laughs> we'll talk to that girl she knows. But that girl is That girl so she knows. She freaks me out. I'll handle her. Uh, um, uh, er. Well played. What do you think that was about? I suppose we'll never know. Can I ask you something? You don't think I'm a brain, do you? 
The thought never crossed my mind. I really like the way this is getting to Daria, but I'm starting to feel like a phony. You're starting to feel like a phony? <laughs> so I wrote a stupid essay. Well, you that. know, it condition people good. to expect nothing Just and relatable. the least little something gets them all excited. Her writing is bad. Don't mm -hmm. people know the difference between good and bad? You no, mean, they don't, Daria. No standards. Right. The thing is, if she's a brain, what do I get to be? She's a brain with bouncy hair. I can't compete. She's got to be stuck. I know how. I just haven't been able to bring myself to do it. Till now. What's the plan? Do you really want Quinn back? Yes! A thousand times, yes! Bring her back! <laughs> they gonna have to ignore her or something? Is she gonna just like Quinn and they're gonna like, wanna be around her? To make Quinn jealous? <laughs> Can't believe Daria's doing this. <laughs> She's in the Quinn fit. I'll play Daria. Hi, could you get me a soda? Holy shit, that's weird to hear a voice like that. Quinn, your dates are here. Actually, we're here to ask Daria out. Daughter. By the way, how's Damn. Cool? Shut up, Jane. Daria's laying it on Hi, thick. Hi, Quinn. Hi, Daria. Well, I'm off for my dates. <laughs> you win, all right. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, she didn't even make it down the hallway. I found it in the garbage and handed it in. Don't worry, I'm through being an intellectual. I'm too well adjusted. I guess things are back to normal. We win. I'm on top of the world. La 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 la. <laughs> Man, I wanted to see more of Daria acting like. Quinn and dress like Quinn. That was funny as hell. I thought that sequence was gonna be longer, but Quinn folded like fucking toilet paper, man. <laughs> Daria was flaunting that shit. She walked in front of Quinn's doorway and was fucking playing it up. I really enjoyed this episode. You guys let me know what you thought down below. Make sure to like and subscribe and thanks for watching, guys.